Hello again Brinnington and welcome back to Cooking Up a Storm. As always I'm Wendy and this week Mark will be showing us how to make a simple pasta carbonara dish. For this recipe you're going to need about 100 grams of butter, 2 tablespoons of flour, at least half a pint of milk, a bag of dried pasta, a packet of ham, a couple of teaspoons of garlic granules or garlic powder, at least 100 grams of grated cheese. Now over to Mark in the kitchen. Hello again, Brennington. I've got something a little different for you today. I'm going to show you how to make a pasta carbonara with a simple white sauce that's just made of flour, butter and milk. So let's just get down, look at the ingredients and get cooking. If you have intolerances to dairy or are vegan, you can substitute the milk, cheese and butter for suitable alternatives. I find oat milk makes a creamy sauce. Why not substitute the meat for mushrooms or broccoli? So here's your basic ingredients, your flour, your butter, your milk. I'm going to show you how to make enough for one person. All you have to do is scale up for the number of people you'll be serving. I've also got some cheese, some ham and some garlic granules give it a little flavor. So first thing we're going to do is get the hot water on for the pasta and then we'll start cooking the sauce. So we've got our water on to boil, our pasta standing by. Now normally I would be making this sauce in obviously a saucepan but so that you can see what's going on I'm going to do it in an ordinary frying pan. It won't really make a difference to the sauce. So put the heat under the frying pan and the first thing we do is we add a generous amount of butter or margarine or whatever you're using as the base. That's, pr that's probably about a hundred grams right there. What you need to do is you need to melt that down. Now that butter's melted, we can add some flour. Again, do this in spoonfuls. Now two, mix it up. What you should get is a solid, there we go, buttery paste is almost quite dry there it is that's your very basic starter what we'll do we'll just add some milk to this and then we'll get the pasta in the pan as well so with the milk again just start adding very small amounts. What you want to do is make a smooth paste. Now to start with, that'll be quite a thick paste. And as we add the milk, it will thin down. Meanwhile, Pasta for one. It's a big one, so it's going to be quite a bit of pasta, but it's pasta for one. And back to this. So you can see it's making a thicker paste. It's almost like scrambled eggs. And all you need to keep doing is just a little bit of milk. see it's starting to smooth down quite a lot and just keep adding your milk and stirring that sauce 
Now I'm told by people who know these things better than I do. This is actually called a roux and it's a French sauce which apparently people spend hundreds of thousands of pounds going to France to learn how to make. I'd say it's got to be quite a simple sauce if I can just knock it together in a Brinnington kitchen. Again as you can see it's thinning and it's going a little further. The more milk you put in, the more it thins, the further it goes. It depends on the thickness that you like your sauce. So we'll just keep on adding milk on a heat keep mixing it in until we get to the right consistency. Here comes another of those wibbly wobbly jump cuts. As you can see it's now still a little thick but it's clearly a lot of sauce. So I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more milk put about half a pint in already. This is clearly way too much for one. But we all make mistakes. It's still maybe just a little thick, but I'm quite happy with that consistency. So I'm going to add, to taste, a little bit of garlic powder. Oh, that smells fantastic. Now it thickens up as it cooks, so get it to a consistency that you're happy with. And that's where you can stop. When you're at the consistency you're happy with, that's when you can add whatever, let's call them toppings, you'd like to add to your sauce. So I'm going to add a little bit of ham, make it a carbonara. Again, even as we speak out there, cooking purists are screaming about what I'm doing to cooking. But you know what? If it tastes good and you and your family enjoy it, then you make what your family enjoys. Don't let anyone tell you. Don't do things your way. Now, it's been around 11 or 12 minutes since I put the pasta in, which means it should be, it should be cooked. So we'll just take the pasta off the heat and drain it. Now, cooking purists will tell you you should have your pasta al dente. I don't agree with that because I like mine al capone. So let's get on. <sighs> Every week, something new. So. Let's serve up plenty of pasta, 
properly drained, of course. Oh, what the heck, let's go for it. And then, pour on your sauce. Yeah, this one came out a little thicker than I was planning. Just goes to prove the best laid plans of mice and men often thicken up on standing. On top of that, let's have a little bit of cheese. Here's the bit that I've been looking forward to. Mix it in. Mm. Mm. Oh. Just right. So, Brennington, it's over to you. Good night. And that's it for this week. If you're cooking along, don't forget to share your pictures with us at the Big Local Facebook group. See you next time and happy cooking.